What's up guys, Boss here, and in today's video, I'm going to be playing a grand challenge, currently 8-1 and one right now, so a solid start, and I'm going to be using one of the most skillful decks in the game, 2.9 Mortar Rocket Cycle, and the reason why this deck is easily one of the most skillful decks in the game right now is because it doesn't have any champions in it, that's right, you guys asked for this, you guys wanted to see a video that doesn't have champions in it, because a lot of you guys don't have it and want to push ladder, this deck is pretty free to play, you can see the only legendary in the deck is the Log, and that's been out for, you know, over four years now, so chances are a lot of you guys already have it and then you got rocket as a good win condition in case you can't get locks with your mortar all the time rocket plus tornado combination is also ridiculously strong on defense sometimes and then you got the knight and the archers as good support cards and then skeletons and nice spirits just as cycle so this actually this guy actually inspired me to use this deck look at this he's on my friends list 18th in the world this korean player here using this deck which proves if you play it really well you can make it work and push high up on ladder so before we head in the first game if you guys would like to support me you can use my credit code boss in any supercell game really do appreciate all the support from you guys it does mean a lot but with that being said let's try to make it to the 12 wins we'll see if we can get it and i'll see you guys when i find the first match all right guys we found our first game here against god of war also please subscribe if you don't want to miss any of my content would really appreciate that almost at 90,000 subscribers that's really insane so we're against god of war and we're gonna cycle knight into his mother witch mother witch is very very strong so it could be a lot of different things we'll just have to wait and see it's gonna be sparky so i'm pretty pr i don't know i'm pretty happy to see that because we have a direct answer for that and he also just gave us tower damage so that is great ice spirit jumped it's gonna take out the Mother Witch, we can tornado this back, and I'm pretty sure we might not. Mm, let's, you know what? Let's just log just to mitigate, you know, most of the damage if we can. Maybe I didn't need it, but I think it's good because now we maintain a damage lead, and you know, we know that he's got. Okay, well, maybe logging wasn't a good idea because now we see that he has the Skeleton King. Um, luckily for us. We got the Tornado and the Log, so if this is why this deck is actually decent in the meta, even though there's Skeleton King, because, well, let me tell you, Rocket kills the Archer Queen, and the Tornado and Log are very, very good against Skeleton King, and in this specific matchup, we have Rocket for Sparky and Log and Tornado for Skeleton King, so this should be a really, really easy win. We don't even need to go for offensive mortars. We can save them for defense and just, you know, play passive. I don't think we need to over, you know, be over aggressive, you know, try to rush the game. We can just go for defensive mortars and wait until double if we want to go for any offensive mortars. But I don't think it's necessary. We just rocket his Sparky here. And there really should be no way of this guy breaking through. Um, unless I make a mistake on defense, which... Obviously, we're going to try to avoid doing. I don't think he's going to be able to ever break through without, yeah, like some sort of major mistake. Here, I'll go for an offensive mortar. Um, I think when you get in double elixir, it's fine to do. Um, and yeah, this guy's running a very interesting deck. You see he's got the um, Skeleton King and Goblin Giant in the same deck. Not something that you see every day, that's for sure. So Tornado going to pull everything together here. And that Mother Witch is going to get some decent value over there, but I think the Log should be able to kill it and pretty much everything else too. Just got to get a Knight down and, uh, oh, I just forgot the Skeleton King does splash, so we got to watch out for that. Um, okay, I think we're just going to rock at the Sparky. I don't want to do anything else. We just go for a Mortar here. I'm pretty sure the Ice Spirit should be able to hit most of the bats. Okay, yeah, it does. Uh... Let's just go for Skeletons to distract the Spear Goblins, and then go for a Knight. And the Goblin Giant's not going to get any hits on our tower, so let's just keep playing Calm here. And then once we get into Triple Elixir, we could probably go for some Rocket Cycle. So we'll just go ahead and log this here, and hopefully that Mortar is able to uh, take out that Mother Witch, just because it is a little annoying for sure. Um, skeletons are kind of piling up here, so we gotta be careful. Log, gonna push back everything, though. And then we get a knight down. Uh, ooh, not just in time, though, because unfortunately... I think we can rock at the Sparky in the tower this time, which is great, because we're gonna get some value. 
Um, Mortar gonna come down in time. And a good Ice Spirit there. Skeletons once again, just to distract that. We get a Knight down in time. And let's go for Archers here. And just to save my log on this, the Skeleton King here. Uh... Log gonna clip everything, so yeah, we just gotta watch out for the Skeleton King. My goodness, is I, I would say the Skeleton King of everything is for sure the most stressful thing about this matchup. So, after this log, we will actually take the lead. So, we're looking really good here. Just have to keep playing good defense, good Ice Spirit there. And, uh, Archer's here, and yep, it's not looking like he's gonna be able to break through. And obviously, the Sparky was the easiest thing to avoid in this matchup like avoid giving value because we just rocket that every time right i mean the other cards are the reason look at this archer army look at this are you kidding me what is happening right now wait can we get another set of archers down no way one two three four five six seven archers down in the same lane Whew. that's what happens i guess when your opponent doesn't have arrows it's kind of like the firecracker. They just, they really start to pile up. So 9-1 and one now, that shows you, you know, you have some solid counters to the Skeleton King. Even though it doesn't directly die to the rocket, usually isn't too much of a problem as long as you have your login cycle. Alright guys, second match here for the 10 wins against YM. YM Hez Hezik. Okay, so we see a bomber. Interesting. Could be a few different things right it's a fairly versatile card but because he's got dark prince and bomber i'm leaning towards it maybe potentially being electro giant because of course those two are seen together pretty often and right as i say that he's got electro giant and he's gonna go for it at the bridge immediately very very interesting so if he lightnings this that would be a really bad play because i can just go for a tornado to then pull it to the king tower so i highly doubt he's gonna do that um yeah it looks like he's not and also, I'm shocked that he went for that Electro Giant so aggressively in Single Elixir. I, as an E-Giant player, you know, myself, well, I mean, obviously I play a lot of other things, but as someone who enjoys using E-Giant a good amount, that is not something I typically do. I usually almost never drop an Electro Giant in Single unless it's going to get a lot of value. And in this case, he had no idea what I was using, so that was a very, very um, gutsy move, if we're, um, you know, to say the least. So here we're going to have to try to cycle here because I don't have, you know, the best counters to the Dark Prince. Um, we got back fine, so we're good. And the key here is saving our Mortar, right? Like, I don't want to go for a Mortar until he drops his Electro Giant just because I think it's a little bit... It's a little risky because then what he can do is he can just go opposite lane with an Electro Giant at the bridge and just ignore the Mortar in the opposite lane, and I'm pretty much screwed. So he's going to go for an Electro Giant in the back, so... Here we're going to set up a mortar on defense, pre-place it, so this way by the time that he rockets my mortar, I'm already going to be back to another one because my cycle is so much faster than his. So watch this. We play one card here, and then the second here with a log, and then after my ice spirit, I'm already back to it, and he just missed the... Yeah, alright. He's crying. He knows. He knows, guys. He knows. He knows he done goofed. We just knight here maybe to predict something he drops. Um, and then here, I guess, maybe rocket this. Uh, hopefully the queen stays inside of the radius. Yes, it does. So free rocket right there for us. Um, obviously gonna be pretty happy about that. We can go for an ice spirit here. Just go for archers. And look at this guy's really, really solid, uh, defense. And no way he should really be able to break through unless, you know, I make a mistake. It's kind of like the Sparky game. Mortar is really, really good against Electro Giant. So, yeah, we, we should be fine. Just have to try not to make some sort of mistake. Uh, Rocket here just to get rid of that immediately. And then we can go for a high mortar like this. He actually won't be able to lightning the mortar in the tower, I don't think. So he's going to have to, yeah, I guess try to defend that mortar, uh, you know, with the bomber like he tried to. And again, I mean, he goes in for an Electro Giant, but... I'm gonna have my mortar in hand when I need it. He's gonna try to lightning, but uh oh yeah, and I just realized he can hit the tower, but the mortar is just so good against the Electro Giant. It's it is the best building counter to it. Because the Electro Giant doesn't stun it. So yep, there there's nothing he can do. It's honestly sad to see. 
um, for him, uh, for me, it's it's great. We're gonna rocket the queen here. We're just playing it safe, and then maybe Triple Elixir will start cycling rockets to try to put him out of his misery a little bit quicker. But you know, we just no no point to rush things just yet. We can go for a knight here, and that should be a mortar lock on the tower. So I'll actually tornado this back. Try to get you know a couple more hits with our mortar here, just because you know why not and. Uh, Let's go for a rocket here, and then we can just log the E-Giant to make sure it doesn't get any damage. We can go for an Ice Spirit here on the Dark Prince, and yeah, as you can see, it's just kind of like rinse and repeat in this matchup. Just, you know, make sure you're playing Mortars on the E-Giant, and they can't even get much rocket value, or lightning value anyway, so you don't even... I mean, because the, the only thing they can really lightning with the Mortars the Knight, and that's just not... So, basically, I'm just going to cycle back to another rocket here. It's easily going to be enough damage, and that is going to be GG. So, really, really easy matchup there. Pretty much nothing he can do. So, what this video has shown so far is if you hate Sparky and if you hate Electro Giant, this is definitely going to be the deck for you because it crushes both of them. So, 10-1 right now, two more to go, and we find this game immediately as well. So, nice. We're against Zawatin. So... I guess we can just go ahead and pressure with the Night Spirit at the bridge immediately. And from there, see if he's going to ignore it or do something. He's going to ignore it. So probably running something, you know, a bit more expensive than my deck. He's going to go Mega Minions. So I'll actually just go Mortar immediately in the opposite lane. It's not really that risky because he did just cycle three Elixirs. So it's not like he can severely punish me for that. Um, he does have a Cannon Cart. And that is not a good sign because Cannon Cart is very very good against mortar it's kind of the same thing as expo it's one of the things yeah you, you do not want to see so just cycle ice spirit here and he's gonna go ahead and not do anything yet baby Dr um okay i'm not gonna rock at that i think instead i'm gonna oh i misclicked i, I misclicked the mortar it's it's all right but yep that's not what i was trying to do go for a knight here and uh all right so it looks like he's using probably it's it's probably going to be Golem, right? Because, um... Okay, so we get the King activated. There we go. That's going to help us a lot. All right, so Golem. Um, first things first, our Rocket is going to get a lot of value in this matchup, especially paired with the Tornado, because he's got the Electro Drag, he's got the Lumberjack, and the Baby Dragon. So I'm liking that. The Cannon Cart, though, is going to prevent us from going in for many offensive mortars this might be the last one i actually do i am in a oh that was not a good cannon card because i don't think that's in range of the mortar unless it walks up but uh i i can't overcommit anyway so let's just go for skeletons here to pull that for a second a ice spear and then archers just to prevent the damage i mean he can't even really punish me anyway because i don't know i i actually think our defense in this matchup is going to be really really solid because, um, I, because, I mean, we have the king activated, and I actually, wait, let's, I think let's just do this to, um, yeah, get the mortar on the tower. We just have to, uh, watch out now on, for this counter push. I'm gonna go mortar here. Uh, can we get potentially, like, a good rocket off here hitting, yeah, this, nice, the e-drag and yeah everything right i think that was a mega minion too so that's what i'm that's what i was saying right the the rocket is gonna be um just so so good in this in this match uh but the cannon cart man the cannon cart is op cannon cart is op Whew. all right yep i had to overcommit so much just because of that cannon cart um all right tell you what let's just play defense here and maybe try to rocket cycle i'm not going to go for any more offensive mortars way too risky um definitely the way to go is just going to be playing defense here that's definitely the safer route um and then triple we can go crazy with the rocket cycle all right so he's gonna tornado that there let's just um actually i changed my mind i am gonna have to go for a mortar just for defense, and then I think we'll try to tornado that golem away. It is going to be tornadoed away, so that mortar will get at least one shot on top of the tower. And we also pulled it into the opposite lane, which is kind of a bonus, I would say. Um, and that mortar actually gets an additional shot, so that is incredible for us. 
we're looking very very good here we can just go for another mortar and uh yeah we actually took the lead so we're gonna go for an ice spirit here on top of this mega minion and then go for a knight and just log the tower for some chip damage to make sure we maintain our lead he's gonna go for golem in the back i'm definitely gonna go for a mortar here to pressure we can go for a ice spirit and knight here and then log and then we're already back to a mortar so we'll just go ahead and play one on defense and get ready to defend this golem push because if we defend this golem push we win the game because he doesn't have enough time so we're actually going to go for a rocket and a tornado just to make sure that i pulled that baby dragon in it unfortunately we don't hit that cannon cart but i still think the tornado was pretty good value regardless we just have to watch out here for this electro drag we're gonna pull everything there and then go for low skeletons to make sure that nothing can hit it and that is going to be gg he's gonna go for a golem at the bridge but i'm sorry to tell you my friend that is definitely not gonna make it to the tower in time so there you go guys we just beat three decks in a row that a lot of people consider like pretty toxic so if this isn't proof that this is like a good deck for you to use like if you're you know free to play and doesn't have any champions in it i don't know what is because let me show you guys um i'm gonna i'll, I'll show you my battle log like I'm, I'm telling you guys this these are the decks like i feel like a lot of people consider like toxic or don't like playing against especially for cycle players so golem electro giant and sparky there you go i mean gonna be pretty good against all of them especially if the golem player doesn't have something like arrows i mean your archers and your defense are just so so good um in that case it was even easier because he didn't even have a lightning but even if he had a lightning i feel like lightning is not that good against the mortar like you saw in the electro giant game but anyway enough talk we're one game away from the 12 win we'll see if we can get it and here we go there we go i actually found that really quickly so hopefully we can win this get the um 12 and 1 that would be great so um he's gonna go for a dark prince just split archers here and see what he's gonna be running because dark prince is used in a few different decks so i can't really jump to conclusions just yet i'm gonna go for my uh knight here to prevent that from dashing into the tower and he's gonna have queen so that is definitely gonna be a rocket there the only thing i'm a little bit nervous about is if he has rg or something and he goes for it at the bridge right now when i am low on elixir but mortar i'm gonna be pretty confident that I can defend it um okay so this could be a little bit of a problem here uh okay so it's balloon so let's get ready here we're gonna go for a mortar like this and then skeletons distract this lumberjack and then we're just gonna go ahead and pull this balloon to the king tower with the lumberjack and then I'm gonna go archers here because I don't want that balloon to somehow almost three crown me if I didn't play those archers that balloon would have gotten another shot and that would have been a little bit risky, I feel like, because then if I decided to tornado the balloon of the king again, it, you know, could potentially three crown me. So that's why I wanted to make sure to do that. So we need to go knight there to distract that mother witch, and then skeletons are going to take out the mother witch. So that was some really nice defense there. Made sure not to get any pig spawn, and you know, I think we're fine. I mean, we have mortar rocket and tornado which are going to be reliable counters to his balloon we don't even really have to use the archers on it we could almost always just use the rocket on the balloon that is just gonna be our best bet um or of course the mortar uh one of those two things and the tornado i like if possible i'd rather not as i said use my um uh well i can't rely on the archers to take take out the balloon i guess that's the best way to put it so we're just going to keep accumulating log chip damage here and then at the end you know rocket cycle as you guys already know that this deck does best so we can just cycle a knight into his dark prince we just go for skeletons to help out and then yeah we're actually going to rock at the queens i i kind of forgot about that instead of playing rockets on the balloons i think the queens are a bit more important so you guys are noticing a general trend with this deck a lot of matchups it really comes down to playing perfect and they really shouldn't be able to break through like in this specific matchup it's the type of matchup where if um it's the type of matchup where if i play perfect he shouldn't be able to win it's the same with that golem match the electro giant match the sparky match so that is why it is a very skillful deck because it's one where if you make like one mistake you know you can lose the game 
It could be something very, very small, and it could cost you. I mean, it could be like, you know, one thing, like honestly. So here we're going to actually go for a mortar to defend the balloon. It's going to be good because it's going to apply pressure at the same time. I mean, unfortunately, he decided to go for a mother witch, so it's not going to do anything. Um, And now here we actually really got to watch out. We got to go tornado to kill the mother witch, and then that... Uh, and then skeletons here and we actually surrounded the dark prince that was really nice the skeleton placement there It's pretty hard to do. It's kind of like surrounding a bomber. You need the exact timing and placement It's not something you can do every single time, but I think with some practice you can do it a lot of the time So I'm actually gonna rocket this here. I kind of need to just because a knight alone would not have been able to defend everything there and yeah, the rocket is just straight up carrying this match I mean like, the, it's making the defense um, pretty much uh, unbreakable. So we're actually here going to use our mortar this time around. We're switching up the how we're defending. That's something uh, I hope you guys are picking up on because that's important to do. You can't always defend the same way every time because your opponent will pick up on it. You got to be switching up what you're, how you're defending things. Um... And in this case, I'm using the mortar sometimes, I'm using the tornado sometimes, and I'm using the rocket sometimes to defend the balloon. And because I'm doing that and I'm switching up what I'm using, I'm never getting outcycled and I'm just using kind of on the fly what I think my best, uh, you know, counter is to his stuff. Like my best judgment, I, best you, uh, I guess you could say. So we just got to watch out here. This is the final push we're going to have to defend. Um, so we just got to go for a rocket here on top of the balloon that hopefully dies uh and there we go guys that is going to be it we're gonna pick up the 12 win here using in my opinion yeah like i said very very skillful deck very fun deck and a solid free to play deck so i hope you guys did end up enjoying this video because i don't know i feel like cycle and these types of decks are what a lot of you guys like to see um i personally do think cycle is in my opinion, a little bit overrated because for me, at least when I'm using a deck like this, even though I consider it more skillful, I, at the same time, you know, it's not like other decks, you know, like heavier decks are harder. I mean, are like easy to play. I guess that's the best way to put it. Like every deck takes skill, but I will admit like in this type of meta, something like this is extremely hard to play. So hope you guys did enjoy the video we're going to is this a champion or a legendary if this is a champ I, no it's a legendary yeah I, i've never gotten a champion out of a grand challenge chest since the the update which is very unlucky because look at this i actually so i got one two three four twelve wins on my battle log none of them had a champion and then there were a bunch before that anyway that's gonna be it for the video make sure to like it if you guys did end up enjoying it and if this video gets a lot of support I will know to do more videos like this um, in a short time from now where I do some, you know, decks that I think are good that don't have any champions in it that are kind of free to play friendly or are just overall good in the meta and don't have champions. So if you did enjoy this video, really do make sure to sh so sh show support by liking it and uh, yeah, giving positive feedback in the comments. But yeah, that's gonna be it. Um, thanks again. Until next time, guys.